Hey, how you doing? This is Hayes. Um, so I've got a, a shoreline stash guide here for you. Uh, a shoreline route guide um, for all the stashes. There's, I think, 39 stashes on the shoreline. I'm going to go through 29 of these. Uh, some of them you don't really need to go for. I mean, you can if you want, if you've got more time in the in the raid. But usually um, this will this will be sort of the, the direct route from where you spawn uh, all the way around the map um, to the extract. And, you know, that'll be that, right? So you'll you'll get all the loot. Uh, from 29 of these of these stashes, um, it's 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 a route that uh, some people take. It, it, it's not very very well traveled because obviously you know PMCs usually go to the resort for uh, for their loot or you know their fights whatever. So generally the stashes on shoreline are pretty are pretty uh, pretty safe to go to. Two out of ten times you might get um, you might get shot at or you know have a have a like a, you know a, a confrontation with a player, but usually um, you should be okay with this route. So. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I do stream on Twitch uh, most days apart from Sunday uh, at around about 10 a.m. GMT. That's 11 a.m. CET. If you guys want to come hang out, ask questions, talk about Ch Tarkov, talk about the future of Tarkov, come over, hang out, give give us a follow. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you there. Yeah, we'll just go straight into it. Okay, so with an east side spawn, uh, you spawn uh, next to this, this, you know, this uh, yellow bus here. You want to head towards uh, towards the the eastern side, the eastern coast, like uh, towards the the water, back behind you, and then keep keep following it with the uh, water on your right, and um, you should come up to like a little divot on your right towards the water, and there's one like set of bushes or a bush behind that is is the hidden stash there. Get that one. What we're gonna do now is go back down south. We're gonna follow the the water down on our left here. And uh, before we get to the trains, you go down sort of to a beach. So you head towards the the trains, and you'll see a uh, a blue uh, barrel stash in the ground uh, just before the trains, um, under a, a log. Um, carry on towards with the trains on your left, um, up the hill a bit towards the uh, the towers, and you'll see another stash. You see these bushes, like these little reeds, bushes, things. I'm not sure um, between the, between the fences next to the trains. That's that one. Now we keep going towards towards I guess west side. Just go west. And you will uh, you go past the the yellow bus here, with the um, the minefield on your left, and just keep going through. You don't need to go to towards the towards the road too much. Um, there is actually a stash. Uh, I think I, I think I'll show just now uh, after this next one um, towards the uh, the I guess the UN sort of truck. You know the quest we have to mark the UN truck down there at the uh, at the blue the blue fence area with all the scabs. There's one there, but if you can just, just carry on, keep going west, straight west. Uh, you'll see like a, a large rock um, just right side of the road here, past this little shack. Um, a large rock, and on the eastern side of this rock, on your side of the rock, you'll see a uh, a barrel stash in the corner there. So after that one, you um you head. You can skip this one if you want to. I, I'm just, I'm I'm just going to show you because uh, this 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 one I I would usually do as well. Um, I don't usually really skip uh, stashes. You've got the whole raid to do it anyway, so why not? Um, grab this one too. If it's not already been done, there is a spawn close to this one, but yeah, it's just next to these tires uh, inside of the uh, the blue fence area here. But um, there is a spawn close to here as well, so uh, the spawn might actually grab this one already um, if if he spawned there. So it might already be taken. Uh, and then we're gonna go carry on sort of uh, further, kind of west past this, past the uh, past that shack, past the the rock on the right side, back come back where where, where we came from. Um, in a way, just uh, towards our spawn, um, and there should be a stash. Uh, if you see the that like that, cr that I'm not sure what it is, like a signpost cross thing, whatever it is, that thing. Um, there's a stash just behind it, just behind the uh, a tree. Get some pretty good loot out there, bastion. There we go, not too bad. I'll we'll carry on straight north uh, towards the broken um, the broken house here. Granny's house, I think people's people call it i'm not quite sure um the stash is there on the uh, on the south uh, eastern corner of it so after that one we uh we carry on um just northeast towards the road again slightly towards the uh the road's customs extract i'm just trying to check sort of where, where my bearings are um and we'll sort of see the bush there's a big bush uh, just just i guess left of the sticks so it's, yeah straight from from granny's house left of these like these tree stick things on the right here see that 
in, in the sandy patch. The UAV is there as well. Um, and there's a one in that big bush there. It's pretty easy to spot, to be fair. Um, it's not too bad at all. And then we'll uh, carry on over. Now, this this uh, this next one is, is pretty... It's it's a, it's a fairly sort of simple one. Uh, uh, sorry, a fairly well-known one. So it probably will be looted by the guys that come from Rose Customs if they're not already rushing to resort. Uh, it's up on the, on the radio tower hill in a bush just on the on the southern side right there so after that one from the uh from the from the radio tower we go straight north towards the edge of the towards the wall sorry the northern wall the train track right there just just east of of this uh of the radio tower there there is a bush on the left of it west of that um next to the wall see the train track there there's a bush right here or like a set of bushes next to ne next two trees and there's a hidden stash just there to the next one which is just on the peak of the hill it's quite a common one as well quite quite a common sort of known spot so uh it's quite it's quite in the open too so watch out for this one this one's pretty um pretty sort of risky uh can skip if you want but it's not too bad uh it's it's just up, up on this peak of the of the hill here um, overlooking the uh, these fields towards uh, weather station. So we'll uh, carry on over towards the western side. Um, follow the the power lines. So the power lines uh, that you cross under, fo follow those. It's the third power line that you would see visibly from the north side towards south. So so from north to south, the third one. And it's on the uh, on the corner with the, with the, I guess, I'm not even sure what they are, the bushes on the corner. Um, next one is uh, there is there, there is actually one up up closer towards the uh, the the resort on the eastern side of resort um, just up on the plateau there that is very risky uh, if if you're looking for like a, a like a pretty pacifist run I wouldn't go for that one personally uh, if you know if you're looking to, to to not meet anyone if you're going for a pistol run uh, I would uh, probably dodge that one honestly um, but you know if you're trying to go for all, all the sashes if you don't mind PVP then um, and that's uh, that's that's also fine, um, but I'm not going to quite show you where it is because this is this is the route that I would probably take um, if I was going on a a you know a, just a stash run. So yeah, we carry on north, keep going, and um, we'll head towards the next stash. It's it's it's, it's a hidden stash um, just left of the uh, of the south fence passage uh, scavec tract. Um, just passing the power pylons uh, is like a little sort of inlet uh, in the rocks here. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to sort of explain, but um, I'll, I'll be showing you, you on the map uh, on screen anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, just between these these two bushes. So we carry on through uh, through towards Rock Passage Extract, in fact, following the power pylons. Um, and basically inside of the, like on the other side of the river, of the extract, there is another stash. Now, with this stash, it's a bit awkward to get to. It's a bit awkward. It's right over there next to the tree. So what I, I usually do is, obviously, you cannot loot it when crouched or you can't. It's, it's a bit awkward. So you got to go prone, and then you can loot it. And usually, if you if, if you prone and then press F and then prone again, you can, you can, you know, you can get it. You can prone before you actually... Uh, loot it so what i usually do is i jump over that little jump over there it's it's quite a nice little uh, little shortcut instead of going over the bridge and also gets us uh, gets us quickly towards the next one which is uh, just pa behind the big rock next to the uav the next uav um it's uh yeah it's in a little bush it's it, this one I, I i struggle to find as well Now carrying on past the UAV, we uh, we go towards the southern side, just west of Resort. Go past the little shack, the broken shack there, and then head past the the scav truck on our right. In a second, there we go, the scav truck on the right there, um, and there's a hill with a tent on. There's a hill with like a you know like a camping. Camping tent. You sometimes have scav spawns around here, so watch out um, for those. Uh, usually about one or two scavs 
sometimes three i've found but uh, that's rare so the tent just down from the tent towards the slope towards the uh the west side there is a stash next to the tree hang on from there you head down towards uh where i'm putting now the the pylon right side of the pylon uh on the rocks overlooking uh the swamp you go straight from straight from that one to uh to this one it's left side of the uh of the i guess the, the conifer tree i think and the bush and uh yeah leave that one that's a uh a hidden stash So from that one, we go towards the field. Now, this, this again, obviously, is a very risky one. Um, I'm not sure if, if you'd want to do this. You can skip this one if you want. It's kind of out the way as well, but uh, I go for this one anyway because I've got balls of steel. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's right in the in the field here. you got to watch out. Uh, this next one's just next to the church here uh, in, the, in the sort of remains of a house in the swamp. Um, the closest house remains in the swamp. Uh, it's just in there. It's kind of awkward to get to because there's, um, there, you know, you, you got the swamp. Obviously, makes you a bit slower. Um, these these ones in the swamps are quite kind of awkward because you have to sort of walk to them. You can't run, like you can't really run. That you know your your, your speed is dropped significantly. Now this one, um, I might not recommend going for this one again. Like again, um, I'm just showing you my route that I take. Uh, you don't have to do this, but um, this one is kind of awkward as well in the swamp. Um, but uh, it's right next to the the, the upstanding tree there. Uh, the best way to get to this actually is to is to tap W. Just 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 keep spamming W, um, and you kind of like glide through the swamp like faster. You can, it's a bit a bit of a bug or like a glitch or something, but uh, you, you you kind of go through it faster, which is quite nice, uh, as you saw me doing just there. Now the next one um, is. Just just next to the dead scav house um, for one of the quests. I forget the quest name. It's it's in the little uh, side shack on, off off the house, uh, the closest house towards that de dead scav house. Next one, you carry on towards through through the swamp itself. Um, it'll be the the closest fence on on your left from the planks uh, crossing through the swamp. Sideways jump over the over this fence here, and uh, it's just a hidden stash right there. Carrying on through. Follow the planks through. And uh, on the right, as we as we get out of the swamp, the what's what's this house? I forget this house. Um e either way, the the um the solar house, I think some some people call it the fuel house. Uh it's just next to there. Some some intel actually we got from that uh stash, which I didn't know we could get, which is funny. Carrying on through towards the village, dodging uh, some of the swamp parts here. Uh, on the closest sort of uh, block of houses, um, you'll get to there's a bush on the outside of the yellow house here. Uh, and you can see there's a hidden stash just uh, just north of it, north of the uh, the yellow house. You, you often spawn quite close to this house sometimes as well, so... Uh, that's always a good stash to loot uh, straight up, straight away if you spawn on, on the western side here. Uh, going through around the back of the house towards the, the scav extract and the wall on the west side of the map. There is another uh, another stash, barrel stash, um, next to the scav extract and the truck on the road. Now uh, we head on over towards the main part of village um, where we'll find some more stashes on the road between, I guess, I guess you'd call it like uh, west village and sort of center village maybe. Yep, there's uh, there's one just in this concrete tubing, I guess. I'm not sure what you'd call it, really. And then across the across the dirt road, there another one right next to the uh, to the dump, the uh, the trash pile uh, on the blue fences. These ones are usually quite often looted, actually. To be fair, so um, don't be surprised if someone's already been through here. So we carry carry on down the road towards uh, towards like cottage side, and we'll uh, we'll go through one of the entrances towards the garden through a a, a shed, and around the corner on the right is uh, is another hidden stash. Now uh, as we go through, there is uh, there is a, there's a few more stashes. There's one that we won't loot uh, that is in the middle of the pond. We're going to carry on through through uh, towards the south, go around. Uh, there is one just just here uh, next to the broken house. 
Um, you can see the extract, the tunnel extract is just over over towards uh, towards there, and uh, and cottage on your left, the broken house there next to the rocks. There is a, uh, a hidden barrel stash, and uh, that is that one. Um, th there's also a stash just towards the uh, towards the cottage uh, in the middle of the pond, like it's like a, a little island or like an inlet in the pond. Uh, and there's a stash um, just on the edge there, but I'm not gonna loot that because that's again that's risky. Uh, scavs around cottage, sandy tired cottage. It's, it can be uh, can be pretty pretty rough. So that is the guide. That is the whole the, the whole route. The guide from uh, from east to west. You can also do it backwards from west to east as well if you spawn on the western side of the map towards uh, village. Uh, doesn't matter. You can just sort of flip it around and and, and do the same route around. Uh, just gotta. I think I think after sort of maybe like four or five runs, you'll kind of understand where they are generally, and then whatever you spawn, it doesn't really matter. You'll just go to the closest stash, loot that one. Closest, loot that one. Just keep going around until you get to the extract. Um, and that's that's how I do it anyway. Um, super simple. But that's the that's the main route that I should take. As you can see here on on the screen, um, I have the the full route here. Obviously, it, I hadn't shown this before, but there's this is the full uh, the full route of of the the stash run uh from e east to west or from west to east doesn't really matter um and towards the tunnel extract um so yeah it's it's pretty simple there's uh, there's not much to it um you, i i feel like i can make maybe about 500 to a to, to 700k a run on a minimum right now the stashes are really good because you find armor helmets uh, I, I found intel in stashes in in that run i found like two helmets i think um in that one as well yeah, it's a really solid run. I think uh, I think it will definitely help you guys out if you you know if you're trying to make some money, you you're low on cash, you don't really want to PvP too much, you don't want to go to the hot spots like resort or or labs for you know for 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 the really uh, you know the really high value stuff or reserve runs uh, you know pretty risky as well. Um, there is a few a few other maps that you can do stash runs on. That they're just not as good as Shoreline. I'm not, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. They are not as good. Right? Anyone that tells you um, that interchange or customs are the best stash run running maps are i wouldn't say lying to you but it's not true simply it's just not true all right go to shoreline learn the stash run and you'll thank me later anyway guys have a good uh have a great day and uh, i'll see you soon all right